Hi everyone, my name is Julie Baxa and I'm a professional learning specialist with Grapeseed. I'm here today with our friend Marvin Monkey to give parents some ideas of a fun, crafty project that you could make during the summertime with items that you probably have already in your home. Um, today, our project is to make stained glass flowers. These beautiful flowers can be made with plastic cups or bowls or plastic dessert cups, possibly. Um, you'll need some Sharpie markers. Sharpies, I find, um, make the most colorful flowers. So if you have some Sharpies around your house, those will be perfect. And you'll also um, need something to attach the flower to. You could use some craft sticks. I just happen to have some shish kebab skewers around my house, so that's what I'm using today. And you'll need your handy dandy glue gun. So how do we make these beautiful stained glass flowers? First you'll take, I used a cup. You could use a bowl, you could use dessert cups. I also use some dessert cups. And you'll wanna take one of your Sharpie markers and color your cup. So this one I already started coloring. I colored the bottom red and now I'm in the process of coloring the sides pink. The darker that you make the coloring on your cup, the more vibrant the colors come out in your flower. So you wanna get the lines as close together as you can and make it nice and dark. I've already finished one for you so that you don't have to watch me color through the whole video. So I again made the bottom red, the sides pink, and then a layer of orange, and then a layer of yellow on the top. In order to get the petals of the flowers, you'll need to cut the sides of the cup or bowl that you're using. Um, I just used regular scissors, which I should have mentioned that you needed with your supplies and just start at the top and simply make a cut down. Be careful though, sometimes plastic hearts do fly off, especially if you're using some thicker plastic items like my dessert cups. These were thicker than the drinking cups were, so they were a little bit harder to cut. They also take a little bit longer to bake because um, they're thicker. So. What I need to do now is to put my cup into the oven. Um, I preheated my oven to 350 and I also covered my baking pan with tin foil just in case. So I'll be right back with the finished product. Okay, I baked my cup on 350 degrees and this baking process took about 50 seconds. So less than one minute in the oven. I also um, used a smaller dessert cup and these are thicker. So these take about one minute and 30 seconds in my oven. Your oven might be a little bit different um, than mine. So just keep an eye on them. They take a very, very short time to melt. So what I'll do now is to take my dessert cup and hot glue it right into the center of my flour. And then I'm going to hot glue my stem onto my flower. And then I will have a beautiful flower that I can display either in a pot or I could just stick it right outside in the dirt. Um, I made a couple earlier to show different kinds of designs that you might want to make, but use your imagination and just have fun with it. There's a lot of science behind why this happens, the melting process, the thickness of the plastic. So if your child is interested in that, you can make this also into a little science experiment. But if they're not interested in that, it would just be a fun project to do on a summer afternoon. Marvin and I thank you for watching our video and we hope that you enjoy making your stained glass flowers as much as we did. Thanks so much.